On this part, we're going to learn about view data and how we can use view data to pass data from a controller to a view. Per definition, view data is a dictionary object that allows passing data as key value pairs, but it's loosely typed option, meaning that there is no compile time checking and you need to cast the data in the view. Now to better understand this definition, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to modify this section. I'm just going to remove it completely. I'm not going to pass any parameters to the view. And in here, I'm just going to use view data and then shortened, let's say, URL is equal to this is just a short URL. Now for us to be able to get or to read this data in the view, all we need to do is just go to index.c-sharp-html, remove the model, and then in here I'm going to also remove the for each loop. In here I'm just going to read the value using view data because I did define it using view data, so I read it the same way just get view data, then shortened URL. I'll paste it in here as a key. But for this to work, you for sure need to use at and then view data. Let me save the changes and then I'll just run the app. So in here, if I go to URL and then index, you can see that I have the value. This is just a short URL. Now let us go back one more time. But in here now, instead of passing a simple string, I'm going to pass a list of strings. So view data. The key is going to be all URLs. And then this is going to be a new list of strings. The values are going to be URL1, URL2, and then URL3. We are passing the value. Now this is an object. It's not just a simple string. I'm going to copy this value in here and then I'll go to the index.c-sharp-html and then inside the curly brackets in here, I'm going to type var all URLs. And this is going to be the view data all URLs. But as you can see here, this is of type view data dictionary dynamic. I'm going to convert this to a list of strings. And now down here, we can use a for each loop var URL in all URLs. And then in here, an h3 tag which is just the URL value. Let us save the changes and run the app. And now in here, if we go to URL, you are going to see that we have the first one that we passed as a string and then the other ones that we passed as a list of strings.